Hi, I'm Cash, and welcome to Cash Talks Football, where I break down goals scored in the Premier League, show you all the rights and wrongs of what they're doing right and wrong, obviously, and um, give you a better understanding of what's really going on in the uh, game of football with my over 20-plus years coaching experience. Um, maybe you want to just become a better coach and listen to some of our coaching points, or maybe you want to take it away and use it to become a better player. But uh, that's kind of what we do here. And right now, we're doing Manchester United against Burnley. Now, we're going to watch, right, because it's very important. There's a couple of goals, actually, this weekend. Sorry, poof, in the Champions League as well. That happened exactly because of this thing that we're about to see. So as we move the ball, uh, this forward, we're going to stop it about here. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's, let's move it forward properly here. Well, as we move this forward here, Bosch, we can see, look at... So... <clears throat> This is what we call an inviting inviting pass. So you're inviting the player to get involved. Here's the player. You want him to this guy wants him to get involved. So he's played the ball in front of him to step forward, right? That's what we call an inviting pass. So he's inviting him to come and get involved and take this space here. Okay? That's what he's asking him to do. If he's just playing it to his feet back there, that means he's gonna stay back there and he's gonna look to pass it out. He's like, hey, come on, mate, come on, come and play the game of football. And he's so he's invited him out and he's taking it now the other problem when you're doing an inviting pass like that is you're putting it almost in no man's land a little bit as well if the other players are pressuring you that's where you end up getting those you know when people say oh you got a 50 50 or a hospital ball because he's played the ball into that inviting area for the other guy to step on but the defending team is now run on and pressured the ball he hasn't bothered to do that look so this guy's now just walked forward he's got all the time in the world and this is what he ends up happening Boff, as a little look looks what's going around still got all the time in the world there's no pressure on him at all and he picks out that pass. Now, quite honestly, this is really hard because the defenders, in my opinion, have been awful and should have got much, much closer. But that, see, when you say stuff like that, it takes away from the quality of the pass and the quality of the finish you're about to watch. But and frankly, he should do better. He should be closer to be able to put this, um, uh, to put Ratface, uh, Bruno Fernandes, off this strike. But Ratface gets on the end of it as it comes down. Bosh, and it's a quality finish. Easy 1-0, and that's the end of the game for uh, for Man United. They end up winning. But there's a couple of problems I've got. Man United, it's 1-0 against Burnley away. They should be doing better. But they needed something amazing like that pass and that goal to uh, you know to sell it. But I'm going to show you another sort of um, uh, clip of it so you can see the quality of the actual finish. And this is what I want to show you because the defender's watching the ball, and he can get closer, and he chooses not to. Do you see that little stutter step there? Watch that, watch that. Watch the defender and watch him do his stutter step. Da da da. You see it? That is a moment of hesitation because he's not free flowing running. I see. I've seen it so many times. You, like um, that like point half a second. You go, oh well, it's not much. It is because that's what stops him from being able to get to the ball. That's what really uh really matters there. But uh, that's about it. There's not much really more to discuss in this video. I'll uh, see you next time, guys. Mm -hmm.